What's up, folks? Today we're going to be disposing of a card that I have here. The reason why we're going to be disposing of the card is because this card no longer works, the number doesn't work. I have to destroy this card afterwards. There's no way to use it, there's no way to do anything, so you guys can't fraud me, but pretty much that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be cutting it into guitar picks. A while back I showed you how to make guitar picks out of a... Where's my marker? I showed you how to make guitar picks out of a, um... What's that thing called? A, um... I think it's a, yeah, a CD. And then I showed a pretty screwed up video of how to make a high performance guitar pick out of a card, which went wrong. But I posted it anyway, so... First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your card, you're going to trace your guitar picks. You're going to trace the overall sh shape of your guitar pick. You're going to want to make these guitar picks about the uh, uh, slightly larger than the guitar pick you're trying to make. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like, you just got to draw the overall shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut along these lines. You're going to want to cut along the outside of your black lines. Pretty much get rid of any, get rid of any um, sharp edges or um, tight bends that are not supposed to be there. Pretty much this is your finished product right here for the first guitar pick. Then you're going to take your, then you're going to need uh, some sandpaper after this. You're going to need sandpaper. You're going to need 80. I believe I got 120. I usually use 100, 220, and then 400. You're going to first start with your 80 grit and you're only going to sand the edges with the 80 grit and round out the nose. You're going to round out the nose of your um, card pick, as I should call it, with the 80. It's going to be a really nasty, you're going to get a really nasty flaky edge after you've done this. I've been making guitar picks from cards for a while now and you're pretty much going to pretty much sand it the way you want it. I prefer a slightly thinner um, guitar pick shape. I don't like that 351 shape. I prefer the... I gotta get it as close as close to a point without making it sharp as possible. You want it? I, I prefer the standard tip on a guitar pick. You just keep on sanding it until you've shaped it into your ideal shape, and then you got all these little butt things. Next thing you're gonna do is you're going to scrape all these little fuzzies off the edge until you get it nice and clean, or clean enough to actually sand it. And you could even look at your shape, like here it needs a little bit more of a point on the nose. You can refine the shape in the nose. Well, this is a demonstration, it doesn't really have to be perfect. That's it, right there. There's our pick right here. So after you've done, we're done with the 80 grit, set that aside so you don't actually accidentally 80 grit your sand your pick again and then you have to start over with you got to reshape it if you over sand then with your 120 you're still going to do only the edges we don't want to do the face yet 
And if you want to keep a, and if you see a design that's on your card that you want to keep, if you have a design on your card you want to keep, you don't want to over sand. You definitely don't want to over sand uh, um sand over the face of the pick at all. And then there you go, it cleans up the edges a little bit for you. You got a slightly cleaner edges, much more of a guitar pick like shape to it. And if you want, you can um, even round the edges. You could even round off the edges if you wanted to. You would do that by wrapping your pick like this and sand it like this, basically. Ta you want to taco your sandpaper into a taco like this and then pinch down on the pick and rub until you've rounded the edge out. Now 220, this is where you're actually going to want to rub, you're going to want to do this, rub the face of the pick against it. Just start with these sides though, because you don't want them nasty edges appearing on your sides after you've sanded the face of the pick. You got to do that before you sand the face and then you just keep press it against it and start sanding it until the pick starts to fade to white. Never use an electric sander because you will melt the plastic. You will melt the plastic after you do that. Also, make sure that you don't over sand and you sand your pick too thin. Sanding your pick too thin will make it virtually unusable. It's going to be a little bit hard on your first run with this sandpaper. It's going to be hard for the, with, the, with your first face sand because the sandpaper is going to want to grip onto the card. Like you can see that the card's no longer usable because it says void. I don't know if you can see that or not, but if that's sand, if that, that's a security feature on cards. Many people, it's really hard to get this to sand off, but you could even take the edge like this and start sanding on the edge, sanding with the pick halfway off the edge of your work surface. In this case, it happens to be a deck, I mean a um, desk. I want to get the black ink off. I really don't care if the word void is on there, but it looks like all the ink's coming off. Now it's getting easier to do because um, all that blue ink and uh, um, plastic starting to rough out. You just want to keep on trying to get all that ink off until until it's all gone. I like to take it and press it up against the edge sometimes, do it like this, and I dropped it. You pretty much want to keep on rubbing that against, oops, pretty much want to keep on rubbing that up against your sandpaper until the back is completely gone, but we're not going to, I'm not going to make you sit through that. So you've done your 220, now you're going to do your 400. Now many people will stop at 400 because the pick feels uh, really smooth after 400. But that's gonna, um, if you're gonna planning on selling the pick after you're done sanding it, first of all, if you've made it from the credit card, you have to re, from a credit card, you gotta um, get all your personal info off of the pieces of the pick if you're selling it as a set because they can piece it together and guess it. I've had, I've never had that happen, of course, but it can happen. You just sit, keep sanding on that face there. Keep on sanding until it's smooth, or at least smooth for 400 grit sandpaper.
pretty much like this. I didn't get all that back part off because I'm not going to let you guys sit through that because we got to move your 400 aside and then go to your 2000 grit sandpaper. You want to keep on rubbing it on the paper until you get a nice smooth guitar pick. Now what the 2000 is going to do is it's going to clean up the edges, it's going to smooth out, smooth them out. You want to rub it up against the paper here and you can already feel it's becoming very smooth and glossy. Keep on rubbing it like this, like that. Now this is a good solution if you are playing the guitar and you've just found out you've lost your pick and you want to do it. And then you can take the card you just cut this from, place the pick in the middle of it and then take your steel wool and then start rubbing. Oops, got to get that camera. I'm not a really big fan of that doing that. I don't really like doing that, but sorry about that. Charging uh, interrupted. I'll just do that. Just take your, I'll just do it. You could take it like this and then keep rubbing it on the steel wool. Like this one, the steel wool pretty much did the job real fast, so I don't really need to sit here for 20 minutes steel wooling on it. But here should be your, your finished product should be very smooth. If you want to paint it, you can. You want to paint it right on it. If you want to sign it and give it away, to somebody if you're making this guitar pick to sell and obviously you're going to want to do a better job than what I did on the back but pretty much that's it have a nice day bye bye